Hi guys, it's Abby and welcome back to Abby's Digital Nook. In today's video, I'm going to be answering the question, can you use a Bluetooth keyboard with a Kobo? The answer is yes, and I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can use a Bluetooth keyboard. So you might be wondering why I would want to connect a Bluetooth keyboard, and I will show you in today's video. So I'm, first I'm going to show you how to connect it. So hit more, then hit settings, and then hit Bluetooth connection. And then make sure your keyboard is in pairing mode and turn Bluetooth on. And then it should show up in your saved devices or it should show up in devices to be paired. So you're gonna select it and then hit confirm Bluetooth connection. Once you're connected, then you should be able to use your keyboard for all kinds of things. So the first thing that I think is really fun way to use it is inside of a book. So let's say you have a book, this one's from the library. You can highlight, you can do little doodles, whatever you wanna add, then double tap on the text and hit add notes. So this is a really good way to kind of just quickly add notes by typing rather than trying to do it on the screen, which can be kind of slow and long-winded. And you can kind of just type out everything that you wanna say that's related to the highlight and hit save so then another way you can use your keyboard is if you're in the search bar and you don't want to have to type on the screen you can type and search for an author or whatever book you're looking for and this makes the search so much easier than typing on the screen what's really cool is that you can actually use the enter button instead of pressing go and then when the page loads up, you can actually use the arrow keys, the up and down to kind of scroll through your page, even though there are buttons on the, on the Kobo you can tap. But if you're just already on the keyboard, you can use up and down to kind of navigate through the pages as well. The arrow keys also work for when you're in your books and you want to scroll through your books. It works the same way as the function buttons on the Kobo and you can use right or left or up or down as well when you're in a book to flip pages. I don't really know why you would use a, a keyboard to flip between pages but I guess if you're really in heavy annotation mode and you want to just annotate and add notes to everything then um, using the keyboard probably be a really good solution so yeah that is it i hope that answered your question and if you guys enjoyed this please follow for more tips and i'll see you guys in the next video bye